good bad man. Bad man. Them no want me shook bad man. Let me get straight to the point, yeah? Do you know what's the worst thing a parent could do to their kids? Sell them on eBay. Oh no, mate, getting raw pirates to be a regular babysitter. What a guy, mate. See how many days they can last without food? My kids lasted four days. They're dead now. Ah, I'll make more. Okay, they're all worse than what I was thinking. But they should never allow their kids to grow up watching Bollywood movies. Why, you ask? Because when I was young, my parents used to always watch Bollywood movies, you get me? I used to always be around it. The way my mum grips the remote control, like I could not do nothing. So I just sat there and watched it with them. And as I was growing up watching these Bollywood movies, I started incorporating the things that I watched in these Bollywood movies to real life. That Bollywood movies were real. Like wrestling, obviously. And they say it's fake. The first time I did this was when I was in year five. School had finished and I was with my boy Ashley in it. And he was chasing me. I don't even remember why he was chasing me. All I know is my man looked like Nick Carter from Backstreet Boys before puberty and that monster from Goonies. So I wasn't planning to get caught fam. I don't want to be a part of that. And I ran onto the road without looking. Don't do that kids. Don't do that. But drink acid because that's okay. Oh no, that's not okay too kids. Okay, I didn't know. I haven't drank acid before. And as I was on the middle of the road, I saw a van and I started to panic. I just froze. And as I looked at the van, I was thinking, is this it? Is this the end? And more importantly, am I never gonna taste mango lassi again? And then it came to me. I remember watching this one Bollywood movie where this happened. <laughs> thinking right work for him he's brown i'm brown what's the worst that could happen so next thing i know like a plum i did this <laughs> so my parents visited me at hospital my dad was very angry you bloody cut out when you ran onto the road without looking and you hit that van do you know how i felt when i saw how much damage you caused the van you bloody dented the bonnet then he started shouting at my mom what are you feeding him cement the fat shit Bloody dented the van! 220 pound I'm paying because the guy had knife! Oh, what is this? Is this the plug to your life support? Okay, we'll say bye to your son because I don't like him anymore. Jitero! Um, Abu G? What? That's actually not mine. I'm, I'm not on life support. It's actually that little girl's life support there. Oh. <laughs> Sorry for your loss. Kids come and go. Really? <laughs> I give you 220 pounds, you'll be fine. I remember my first love. Her name was Kerry. Did, what did you expect me to say? We expected me to say Katamala Katamata? No, I didn't fall in love with Katamata Kalamata. I fell in love with Kerry, okay? Man was on that white thing, fam. She was so sweet. She was so gentle. She was so kind. She had a heart of gold. But the only problem she had was she was like really racist. She hated brown people, innit? Like fully. I once saw her punch a baby in the neck because the baby was brown. But I love this girl so much. I punched the baby in the face too, you know? Don't upset Kerry cuz. And Kerry was so racist, she would actually sing a song every time she saw me and it went like this. Butter butter ding ding T99, I see Krishna come out the sky. But I'm not gonna lie, I was so gassed that she was actually talking to me. I started singing along too. Butter butter ding ding T99. She was so sweet, honestly. She had the voice of an angel. Butter butter ding ding T99. Demonic lyrics, but the voice of an angel. But after a while I realised that, like, Nothing was really happening. Like we were nearly in year seven and we're still not married yet. And then it came to me. I remember seeing this one Indian movie and it went like this. So I'm thinking it worked for him. He's brown, I'm brown. So what's the worst that could happen? So lunchtime in the playground. This girl was skipping with her white friends and I was just like Mukala Mukabala Lilla Oh Lilla Mukabala Subhanilla Lilla Oh Lilla Brap she moved school I heard she turned atheist She told the teachers that I was casting a spell on her Should have done that actually Just needed to call up my auntie Rogita All she needed was a wet cactus A broken vase Four lime green sherbets and 220 pounds. So that's why I had to make this video to explain to people the difference between Bollywood movies and reality. Now let's start with this one clip. Obviously this police officer is not doing any police work and then out of nowhere you see these waste mans throw some bottle of Shea Rabs and out of nowhere it's on. But the first thing that comes to mind is who's this kid fam? Um, 
अंकल आप जाओगे तो ये लोग मम्मी को भी मारेंगे Why is he humping your leg? Like when did he get there? Like did you not previously feel him? And is it me or does he look like he's about to lick this kid? Like that don't look right. And the way he's stroking him, that's zero to one hundred real quick. So obviously there's beef, and that's about to pop off. Like I've been in the situations before. Obviously man just go crazy in that, and it starts swinging in that, and it. But understand how long it takes for him to get his weapon. <laughs> How long was that? And why are they just patiently waiting, just watching, saying, "Oh, I wonder if he's gonna actually break this light lamp off so he can beat us up." Like running it. Don't watch him prepare to f you up. And is it just me, or did this police officer just commit vandalism? You're vandalizing a lamp post. While all these normal pedestrians are just watching casually, saying, "Yeah, that's kind of against the law," but Maina, he's a police officer. Like all that time, you wasted breaking that lamppost. That was at least six Ramadans, but you had a gun all this time. I don't get that. Then again, with the perverted stroking. Let's see, see whose kid is that? If that was my kid and he was literally getting touched up by a police officer with a lamppost in his hand, I would at least like move him out of that situation. I would at least say, "Come here, don't let that guy touch you anymore." So these guys are ready to drive off, but this is what I don't get. But this seven of you, like you're seven dangerously armed gangsters, and you're scared of one guy with a pole. Like I, I'm not even good at maths, but I swear that the advantage is still in your favour. And this is without a doubt the longest walk you will ever see in your life. <laughs> And they had so much time. I would have just been like, you know what? Bun the car. It's been 42 minutes now, so I'm just gonna run. Now, what you're about to witness is a human being outpacing a car that's already 12 miles ahead of him while holding a street lamp. <laughs> Can't make this shit up, bro. Who wrote this? Didn't anyone read the script and was like? And then the man outpaces the car. It's not really believable, is it? No one. And while this is happening, I'm just thinking, why doesn't he just press the brake? Like I get it. The steering wheel is jammed. But if you just press the brakes, you won't be going in circles for the next seven days. Like you would stop. But no, they obviously thought, no, let's just press the accelerator and. And wait till oh oh it's an accident. Who would have expected that? And who did these sound effects? When did a tiger arrive? I can't see no tiger anywhere. I hear a tiger, but I don't see no tiger. Like I don't get it. While they were editing it, did the sound guy think? Let us put tiger sound. I can't make this up. My man bounced next man like he was a basketball. How can that even physically work? What did the guy have in him? Helium? Is India's gravity different? Yeah, my mum has done that move on me before. It hurts. It does hurt. And by now, I'm thinking, rah, this guy is super fast. Like you saying, boat ain't got shit on this guy. There's the invisible tiger again. And then my man just slapped this guy to death. I've never seen such a violent slap. So there I am thinking, oh, finally he's going for the gun now. But no, he hands his gun to a pedestrian. I think it was the girl who's trying to chat up. I don't know. I didn't watch the whole movie. And then he takes his belt off, and then he starts whipping them. Like he's their father, and I'm thinking, what did I just watch? Now, would you really see that in London? Like a police officer handing over his gun to a random brown lady, and he was like, "You guys are gonna get it, mate." Forty boys. They're not gonna sue me. 
Naughty Boys. Film number two. First thing I notice about this film is the quality of acting. Surely these young actresses studied at the best performing arts school in India. The realism. It's like they watched Home Alone Bay Times before the scene and they were like, we do this one, this one. Yes. No, this one. So I think a rickshaw is like on this guy's leg or something. Like the guy is trapped and in a lot of pain. And look at the people trying to help. Like they don't actually look like they're physically doing anything. All they're doing is pretending to help. Like it's it's so obvious that they're not actually moving the rickshaw whatsoever. And why all these people are panicking and trying to help my man escape death? My man is just calmly watching while smoking a cigarette. Bruv, you must have passed all your GCSEs, all your A-levels, because you're just fully calm about life right now. I can't possibly watch someone die and be that chilled. So my man takes the cigarette and he looks at the camera and he's like, no smoking kids, don't do it. And I'm like, wow, that didn't take me out of the film. And do you know how he saves the guy's life? <laughs> He burns him. Really? No, re no, really. If someone's in that situation, like his leg is underneath the car, am I gonna turn around and say, let me burn his foot? And by the way, the music in this movie kind of feels like it belongs somewhere else. Why don't you see the like maybe an 80s porno. And then this happens. Why would he do that? Why did he have that reaction? Let me shake a tree so a few petals can fall down and it might look good for like two seconds. And then you see this shot and you're thinking, where's the tree gone? I swear he just, like, was the tree like a mile away? And this guy quite possibly has the creepiest smile I've seen in 2017. Quite possibly the creepiest smile I've seen this decade. No, actually, no, no, hang on. Probably the creepiest smile full stop, like ever. Now movie number three. Now obviously this guy is talking to a doctor and I think this girl or this guy or whatever needs a heart transplant. Now apparently this guy has a spare heart lying around. I think he just found it like in between like the sofa seats or like under his bed or something. No questions asked. I'm just looking at this heart and I'm thinking. Is that a heart though? How big is that heart? Bruv, that don't even look like a heart. That looks like a disformed white man's willy. Not that I've seen one before, I'm just guessing. And the worst thing is he's kissing it. And my man takes the heart to the hospital, but he doesn't even put it in a box. Holding it like it's a baby. Like put it in those, you know, boxes where they have like, you know, when, when they do transplants and they have those boxes with the heart inside. Like, don't you have one of those maybe lying around? I mean, you have a heart. And then this guy's getting bang up. I don't know why. Maybe he unfollowed him on Twitter or something. He getting beaten up and these guys are like kicking the heart like it's nothing but I'm just thinking Why does the heart sound like that? And if you kick a heart and it slides on the ground I'm sure you won't make this noise Like who did you appoint for your sound guy? Same tiger guy? So we have tiger again! No you can't keep having tiger sound Okay it's heart so I put metal sound At one point this guy like is trying to fight back and he tries to headbutt him, but clearly he like completely fails. Why did you even attempt to headbutt man if if you were gonna miss like that? So this guy is obviously being brave. And this is the sound effects they used for a man kicking the next man's balls. Mama! What is his balls made out of? Glass. And then this guy is quite possibly the, the scariest thing I've seen in my life. Like I don't know what's scarier, waking up to this guy or this guy. So he kicks his balls. And once again, the sound effects are so realistic. <laughs> it sounds like his balls are made out of a gold bell and some chains. If you kick my balls, it wouldn't sound like that. I'm just saying. So obviously he's about to escape. So my man gets out his weapon. And can I just say, this is quite possibly the most inconvenient weapon I've ever seen in my life. Like how, why is everything in this film so big? That's not a shank, that's an Optimus Prime sword. But what you're about to see, sums up everything I'm trying to explain. Imagine as a young kid you watch this and think that this could really happen. And to think that if that's the case, didn't the directors ever think, could this actually happen?
I've seen it all. Make sure you like this video. And if you like the video, please make sure you spread and subscribe. Oh yeah. Until Monday, we out.